Avondale community leaders preach, see something, say something. But Pastor Ennis Tate says for some, it's not that easy. So culturally, as a people, we have been taught that we protect our brothers and our sisters by keeping their deepest secrets close to us. Well, that involves acts of violence as well. Now, this group says that has to change. Jennifer Foster was shot sitting on her porch in 2013. I had got my left leg blown off by AK-47. I have two pieces of titanium in my left leg, but God is good. As Foster was sharing her story, a SWAT situation was developing just blocks away on Forest Avenue, underscoring their message. There's an epidemic in our communities and we must change it. Someone was shot around 8 this morning in Avondale. The street shut down as police searched for the suspect, now charged with domestic violence and felonious assault. The pain starts at home and the violence starts at home and they carry it to the streets and they find out that the only way to resolve issues is violence. That's the code that they live by. Carl Netta Flag Miles' son was shot and killed in 2015. She knows the pain all too well. We want these young men who like to pick up these guns uh, and think that that's the solution. We want them to think about the harm that they are causing. Tate says they're going into schools and working with kids on probation, but it's going to take everyone to change the culture. If we don't start showing care and concern for people, this will continue on to the next generation and beyond. The victim from that shooting in Avondale is in critical but stable condition at UC Medical Center. Police are looking for Curtis Wisdom. They say he was wearing a black sock hat and a black trench coat and that he is armed with a 9 millimeter handgun. If you have information, call Crime Stoppers. Molly Lair, WWT News 5.